Hi everybody. There are a ton of changes going into the alpha today. However, I'm just gonna cover the main points. You guys can explore and find everything in the game for yourself. What I wanna cover right now is the electric engines. I finally got them working. You'll notice uh, some LOD details depending on the quality you choose to run on your computer. Um, things like you could look at the tachometer you'll see that there's LOD the closer you get the higher quality but let's talk about the electric engines really quick so as most of these buttons are now working the gauges still need to be hooked up but let's go through the simplest startup procedure turn the panel power on and then the main switch to power the entire panel this light turns on letting you know that we now have power to the panel we turn on the starting contactors to the motors and we put the direction switch in forward. We could also put it in reverse if we choose to. As long as these are engaged, the motors are now engaged to the shaft. Eventually when you run the diesels, uh, the diesels would actually spin these and generate power, but for now we're not simulating that. We will put the motors in parallel and then we're going to put the batteries in series. Sorry, if we do it in parallel, you'll see we're going to get about 130 volts right now. And if we do it in series, we're going to get double voltage. So we'll get way more speed out of them this way. And turn the speed controller on. You can see we're going to push 300 RPM right now. None of these gauges are accurately working. And we're not actually shown what the motors would actually draw power-wise. I just wanted to get this out there so you could at least play with electric engines. So once again, we'll do the same thing for the starboard motor. Turn everything on. We're going to do uh, batteries in series. Get the RPM going. And now we're going to use our automation to dive. Another big change, the physics have been uh, modified again. And the hydroplanes are a lot smarter. The angle of the hydroplanes um, take into account the current boat angle and a predefined angle that should be safe and steady for the depth you want to achieve. So the control now is a little bit smarter than before. And at full RPM we're reaching about 8.5 knots. It's uh, somewhat realistic. Not there yet, but again, physics will be fine-tuned in time. Going back in the interior view, we could, uh, let's slow the motors down and swap them over to parallel. That way we get half the voltage. And all of these RPM values right now come from the official blueprints and official uh, type seven manuals where they actually performed uh, tests on these. So currently it's very, very, very simple logic that is working against, uh, against the simulation. But eventually, like I mentioned, the goal is to simulate the engines, the field magnetic strength, have the interaction between diesels and electric motors, calculate the torque, everything. But for now, again, I just wanted to get this out there in the alpha branch. So by the time you see this, it's live and you can play with it just so you could run the electric engines and you don't have to rely on the diesels anymore. So you could imagine just how fun this would be once you're working in multiplayer mode. Managing either compartment or, you know, choosing what you'd like to manage. So diesels are off, we're running 100% in electrics and we're hitting 3.7 knots. Which I think is pretty accurate for 100 RPM. Creep mode, I think, was right around 40 to 60 RPM. And there is a button for creep mode. Not yet implemented. There's a button for the blower motors to keep the engine cool. Uh, temperature did affect their performance. So you'll see the uh, amp meter for the blower. And you'll also see here the battery current that we're pulling. You'll be able to toggle between the scale up to 4,000 amps we're down to 600. So all these will be implemented soon enough. I just wanted to get this out there because I did promise this week that I would get you guys working electric motors. And here they are. They're working. 
again, if you decide to pull the alpha branch and play with it, um, you know, uh, just be aware that you're going to find lots of bugs. Still massive work in project, but they're moving. Hope you enjoyed the update and uh, play around, provide feedback, and join the Discord if you haven't. Thank you all.